the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I utilize Bitscap's trading platform to day trade cryptocurrencies. And in this case today, I'll be trading ETC USD on the Bittrex exchange. Now I have several videos on Bitscap in my playlist covering their grid bots and their arbitrage and signals. So today I thought I'd show you the trading platform. Now what I like about the Bitscap platform, similar to Quadensi, which Quadensi is what I actually use for most of my day trading. And so like Quadensi, Bitscap does offer the ability for me to quickly switch between my exchanges by just clicking on the exchange. And that way I'm not logging in and out, pulling up other windows. Uh, to trade on the different exchanges and today I'll be trading on Bittrex and I'll be trading ETC USD and the coins that I hold here on Bittrex for ETC USD these are actually coins I mined on GPU miners quite some time ago and I literally have zero cost in these last bit of ETC tokens now before we get into the weeds I will say I'm not super thrilled about the layout I do like the order book. I got my level twos. These are the orders that have actually been completed recently uh, by the market. I would prefer to see this somewhere close in relation to the order book rather than having to go from one side of the screen to the other because I actually do read the order book, the level twos and the orders to get an idea of how this market is trading and having to skip across the page is not ideal uh, they do also have on the recent trades they'll show you how much has been bullish or bearish in the last one five fifteen or thirty minutes that's kind of interesting but again if we could get these two items and as far as I can tell I can't rearrange the graphic user interface at all I can't move any of these blocks around so I'm kind of stuck with how this is now if I'm wrong perhaps the folks at Bitscap will reach out to me and let me know I will actually reach out to them I am in contact with them so I will actually reach out to them and see if there's a way to personalize this graphic user interface uh, the other thing I don't like is I don't think this is set up for 4k resolution that's the monitor I'm on right now is a 4k monitor and I just have a lot of dead space down here. Uh, my chart is tiny. Now I can expand the chart. The problem with expanding the chart, I lose all my tools. I don't have access to the sell, the buy. I don't have access to the level two to read anymore. Yes, I've got a full size chart, but I can have that pulled up on one of these other screens on my desk. So, And so to get back to everything, I either have to hit escape or minimize this back down to size now with that being said I do like the fact that I can see my open orders trade history uh, price alerts and what have you over here that's great and of course the most important part the ease of placing orders I do find it fairly easy to place orders it's pretty straightforward a limit order meaning I dictate the price I'm asking for buy or sell and of course a market order you're either gonna buy or sell at the bid or ask price depending on if you're buying or selling and you'll basically fill at the prices that are shown assuming you're not trying to buy or sell more tokens than those prices have available uh, shadow order I'll do another video in the future on that's a little different so you might want to subscribe now so you can be alerted to when that video comes out on shadow order and of course last but not least the stop limit that is your stop so and that's how I'm actually going to treat ETC here I do want it to continue to go up on these coins but I wouldn't be heartbroken if I got out right now so I could actually do a market order but I'm going to give it a chance to continue upwards however I do think the market is fatigued and this is probably going to turn over and run back down and so I'm going to put my stop probably around 710 because I don't want this to drop any further than it's already started to turn over so I'm going to put my stop at 710 and so once that's triggered I do want to have a limit amount that I'm looking for and more than likely if I look over here at the order book if we hit in the 710 area and actually goes from 711 to 706 so that tells me if we hit 710 we're probably going straight to 706 
So I'm gonna put my limit amount. I want to get at least 705, and I'm actually gonna sell all 100% of the tokens that I have, which would then net me $219.71. And so we'll smash the sell ETC button. It's gonna confirm that that's what I want to actually do. We'll hit yes. And you'll see that I now have an open order and it actually shows you your position up here, your stop at the 710 mark. And if this sells down below that number, then I'll be stopped out. But since it's a limit order, I need to be stopped out at 705 or greater. If it actually were to fall below the 705, the stop will be triggered, but I won't actually get out because with a limit order, I have to get at least a 705 or greater, a favorable amount. So in this case, I'm not guaranteed if the price drops fast enough to get out, I could be stuck in this if it dropped to say 690 instantly. But my experience trading ETC, I'm pretty comfortable with what I set up. I actually think if we hit around the 710, I'll more than likely get stopped out above 705 but we'll wait and see if that actually happens or not. While we wait for some action, I do wanna go into a, another unique feature that Bitscap has on their platform, and that's what's called Smart Trade. You can see on your limit order, you can do a Smart Trade. Let's say I was gonna buy, since it's a limit order, at $7 even, and let's say I was willing to buy 100 ETC. So that would be $700 and projected profit of 34 comes from this take profit option, which is very unique. You can do this before you place the order, have all your numbers calculated for you. So you could have a take profit of 5% and your stop loss all preset before you click the buy. Now you should have these numbers already in mind before you ever make a trade. That is how elite traders actually trade. They know their entry price and their exits, whether it's profit or loss, before they ever even make the trade. So in this case, 5% profit and stop loss. Certainly don't want a 5% stop loss. Then you're looking at a one-to-one -one risk ratio. So we'll say we'll do a 2%. So I'm risking $14 to make 34 so my risk versus reward is about one to two and a half. So that's a fairly decent risk versus reward. I don't have to be right all the time to be profitable at that risk versus reward ratio. And then I could just hit buy BTC. Now I'm not going to do that because I actually want to get rid of BTC. But that smart order basically allows you to set up everything you would need. You could click buy and now you can forget it. All the items you'd think about after you place your buy are taken care of with the take profit or stop loss. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually split your profit and then take a profit at, say, 5% on half your order. And then let's say 10%, if you're a little more bullish, on the rest of your order. And now we see the total projected profit goes to $52.00 which might then allow you to crank up your stop loss to say 3%. Now you're risking $21 to make 52. So this smart order feature can really help you understand what your profit would be, what your p potential risk would be. And I will be doing some live videos where I actually execute these in day trades. So again, good time to shoot that subscribe button. Those videos will be coming out in the future. And you can do the same thing with the sell side and that would be essentially shorting so let's say i wanted to get in at 7 15 and i was going to do the same 100 eth now that's going to cost me 715 dollars my take profit price because i'm shorting it counting on it going down is going to be six dollars and 79 cents and then my stop loss, again, they did 5%. We'll jack that down to 2%. And my stop loss would be if the price were to go up to $7.29, I'd get stopped out. And so this is an excellent example of how you could use the smart order to short 
a position on crypto. And again, I'll do more videos actually live trading with this in the future. So again, subscribe. We're still waiting for my target to be hit and no orders have been hitting below the 710 as my limit. So, and you can see the volume's very thin on this. This is not a token ETC that I would normally tr day trade on. Again, I just happened to hold these tokens because I did some mining uh, probably around two years ago and this is some dust that was left over from those miners and it's time to sell it off and put that uh, money to work and as we start to read the tape the price is starting to move up now the bids are moving from the 711.93 to 712 so we still have a pretty good spread of five cents or actually a little more than five cents at 717 almost 718 so the sellers have actually stepped down off of 719 but the buyers have stepped up to 712 so we'll see if this continues to step up i may adjust my order and follow it up a little and this is a key component to successful day trading is being able to read the tape Another thing you can look at, there is a pretty big buy wall of 1280 and each time someone steps in front of him, he had been moving up. Let's see if he continues to move up. And so he moved his price up above this one. He's now pulled his order off, it looks like. And there's his order back and he's stepped up to 12.1. So he's, he's slowly walking his price up and folks are walking their prices up. And you can see over here, we've moved up to 721.80. So this has stepped up from 717 all the way to 721. And so this gap between buy and sell has moved up eight or nine cents. The gap has increased to about eight or nine cents versus the five cents we had before. So these folks are probably going to have to keep stepping up. And they are. They're definitely stepping up. If you guys want to see me do more of tape reading and explaining what I'm looking for on level twos, leave some comments down below. And I do try to read all those comments and I will, uh, I will make a video on how I read tape when I'm trading. So this is actually moving up. The price is moving up. Now with that being said, no orders have been placed. The last order was still at that 711.923. So while the price action is moving, and we can see we've now stepped up to 712.5, and the same 1280, he's making sure anything that goes in front of him, he steps up ahead of him. So as long as he keeps stepping up, he is essentially pushing the price of ETC up towards this ask price of 721. All right, so here's something to note. Here's 1280 and here's 1280. So we may be seeing a little bit of manipulation here. Now that 1280 went away. This guy is taking his order off the board. So those two went away briefly. Let's see what happens to the price now that those are off the board. And there's our 1280 back. And we can see this price was pushed up to 713 five and so there might have been some manipulation that 1280 might have been trying to push this up so he could get out of a position over here so he could get out of his position he's actually trying to sell so he was manipulating the price by pushing it up because he's now gone from this side of the board and there's a 1280 on this side of the board and i'm purely speculating doesn't mean a thing could be this person just chose that number because he saw that number down here and is trying to get that guy down here to buy up here those are just things you have to think about while you're watching this so this has stepped up to 715 so I am going to cancel my order and up my order so I was at 710 I'm going to say now 713. I'm going to take that down to 710, 100%, and sell. So now I have that order placed, 
and we'll continue to watch this price action. And if we can get this to continue to walk up, and it did, it's just now jumped to 716. This is staying around the 721. So as this tightens up, we're back to the, about the five cent gap between the two. And we have yet to see, and see this is why I don't like the actual recent trades on the other side of the page, because it's kind of easy to forget about them. No trades have actually come off the board since 1142, and that's that 711923. So if this was like under here, like it should be, like for instance, I'll jump over to Quadensi real quick. You can see on Quadensi the level twos and then the recent trades. It's the same information. You can see 716, 721, but I can then quickly look keep my eye in the same area and see nothing's actually trading. So I would like this part of the book to actually be over here with your level twos. All right, there we go. So we fell down below the 713 mark and my orders actually filled so I think I filled probably around the 712. We'll take a look at the trade history. And in the trade history, it shows that I filled at 710. However, I don't think that's actually correct. If we actually look at the most recent sells, it was basically my 31 shares are right here at 712.556, 712.556. And so I'll jump over to Bittrex and I'll go to my closed orders and you'll see that the order right here did close for all 31 at 712.556. So that's the amount I actually filled for according to Bittrex, which is actually what I care about because that is who actually holds that money. And if we jump over to Quadensi, we can also see that they have it at 713. Uh, they kind of round up on Quadensi. So, uh, and then you can also see my fee was 44 cents, which is pretty cool on Quadensi. I really like Quadensi. I, I've said it in my other videos, but I am impressed with some of the features over here on Bitscap. There just needs to be a few tweaks, and I think they would be in close competition with Quadensi for my business. And with that being said, they obviously get all my business with the GridBot. They, hands down, in my opinion, have the best GridBot out there. Again, if you want to see those videos, uh, go to my playlist. You can find those videos or subscribe now, and uh, you'll see future videos that I do on the GridBots. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to share with you how you could use the Bitscap platform to execute trades from your different exchanges. Again, I didn't have to log out to switch between exchanges. And we succeeded in getting rid of some ETC dust that I had hanging around. And now I'll put that couple hundred dollars to use in actual live day trading. So if you have any comments or questions, do that in the comment box down below. I'll put a link to Bitscap down below. If you use my link, you'll get some free time to use the platform before you actually have to invest any money in it. As far as their pricing goes, you can start for as little as $19. You'll get two active trading bots. You can have unlimited exchanges. You could do all your day trading like I just did for as little as $19. Now the account I have is the pro account. So I basically have everything wide open to me. But if you're just getting started out, $19 a month, great investment. And of course, if you like the video, do me a favor, spike that like. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing recon. See you in the next video.